basically the features that uh, uh, basic station implements are, are listed here. We have, uh, of course, support for um, all the lower one classes that you find in the standard. And the different uh, backend protocols, we're going to look at those in more detail. Uh, basic station does its own uh, unified abstraction layer over um, the radio. This is because there are different radio designs out there, specifically the reference design 1.5 and uh, V2. And uh, basic station abstracts the different radio aspects in its own unified uh, layer. Um, the design of this uh, software component is meant to be very lean and, and minimal, so it's written in portable C with very few dependencies. There are a couple of other uh, features that are uh, that set basic station apart from, from other uh, approaches. For example, we are not dependent on NTP or any sort of time synchronization at all. The time synchronization is done over the LNS protocol itself. And uh, yeah, given that uh, the CAPS protocol is an inherent part of, of basic station, uh, a centralized configuration and management component is sort of built in already in a quite minimalistic way. Why was NTP a problem previously? If you, if you operate gateways at scale, and we've done that at TrackNet, NTP has proven itself to be uh, a source of, uh, of problems. And uh, specifically, if, if you don't need NTP, if you don't need an absolute time reference, mm -hmm. why drag in this dependency? So packet scheduling in itself does not require UTC time. So we, are not, we don't have to uh, care about leap seconds and stuff, which NTP has to care a lot about, mm -hmm. and, and about uh, yeah, squashing time in different uh, dimensions. We, okay. we don't need that, right? We are relying on a single time source. Yes, and there are other highlights, uh, like the remote shell, quite uh, quite interesting if you want to dig into a gateway without uh, having SSH access. This means that we don't require any open ports, uh, which is a sort of a problem in many, in many firewall setups, so all the connections are outbound initiated, so we don't require any port forwarding or open ports in the firewall. 